Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain the percentage composition of elements in compounds. So, what is the definition of this? So, we know that the gram measurement of an element present in a 100 gram compound is called the percentage composition of that element. So, we know the molecular formula of the compound is the source to determine the percentage composition of various elements in the compound. So, we took two example today which is potassium dichromate and aluminium nitrate uh, as an example so we know this is the molecular formula of potassium dichromate and this is the molecular formula of aluminium nitrate so to find it out we need to know the molecular mass of these elements so think about potassium this is 39 times 2 atoms okay we need to multiply two atoms and then chromium is 52 times two atoms and oxygen is 16 times seven atoms so we think that 39 39 uh, times 2 is 78 plus 52 times 2 is 104 plus 16 times 7 is 112 so we got each summation and then times 112 plus 04 plus 78 is the total I mean 298 is the relative molecular mass of potassium dichromate now you think there are three elements there in this compound so we need to find the percentage composition of potassium, chromium, and oxygen. Now, I think the percentage composition of potassium would be, would be, total is 298. We know that this should be the molecular mass of the compound. And then, the atomic mass of potassium is 39 times 2 is 78. So, this 78 would be here times 100% because it should be expressed in 100%. So what we do, that 7800 over 298 is the percentage composition of potassium, which is 26.17%. And you see in chromium, which is similarly, the percentage composition is, chromium is 52 times 2, which is 104 over 298 times 100%. So we say this is 10400 divided by 298 is 34.899. So we can say 34.9%. And in oxygen, you see that oxygen is 16 times 7. So this is 112 over 298 times 100 percent so we can say that 11200 over 298 is actually 37.37.58 percent and you see the summation of this percentage would be nearly nearly 100 percent and it would be 100 percent and you see that the percentage composition of potassium, chromium, and oxygen, how we did it. It's very simple. We need to know first the molecular mass of the compound. Think about the aluminum nitrate. The aluminum nitrate, aluminum is 27. And you see this nitrogen, it should be plus, okay? Nitrogen is 14 plus oxygen is 16 times 3. And this is together 3. That 3 is common for oxygen and nitrogen. So, this is very important. We need to identify the molecular mass of the compound correctly. So, we see this is 27 plus. So, this is 14 plus 48. So, this is 16 times 3 is 48. So, 48 plus 14 is 62 so 62 times 3 is 186 
so this 186 plus 27 is 213 so this is the molecular mass of aluminium nitrate now you think there are three elements present in this compound aluminium nitrogen and oxygen now think aluminium the percentage composition of aluminium should be 213 over 27 so 27 over 23 times 100 percent because there are no aluminium there so we got it 27 hundred over 213 that is 12.67 percent and now think about nitrogen the percentage composition of nitrogen should be there is 14 but there are again three atoms are there so it should be 14 times 3 think about it 3 over 213 times 100 percent so think about 3 and 14 this is um, 42 so 42 hundred over 213 it should be 19 point seven one percent and about oxygen there are three atoms times three atoms so there are nine atoms so we say that the percentage composition of oxygen it should be 16 times 3 times 3 over 213 100 percent did you understand this because we need to find the atomic mass of the element times number of atoms so there are number of atoms we have to multiply 3 times 3 and this is 213 so we know that 16 times 9 times 100 over 213 this is 67.60 so you see that how we did it this is very simple i know that some of you really know it but i'm just giving you an idea those who are facing trouble for the first time to find out the percentage composition this is the process we can do it even you can think about the glucose c6 h12 o6 even you can think about the sugar that is c12 h22 o11 whatever the compounds eat try to find out the atomic mass of the element number of atoms and the molecular mass of the compound the main source is to find uh, that the molecular mass of the compound and then you'll get the percentage composition of elements in compound so i hope you understand the very easy and basic chemistry in case of stoichiometry and i hope you can find the percentage composition of element from next thank you so very much see you on the next video take care